and then they tell me what they want me to film tell me how to say it how to present it and then by then it's just like i don't even want to do it <laughs> i'm just a normal real deal blogger and not a hired talent to show you how to do something did i quit youtube why am i so inconsistent do i even care about hair anymore what is really going on <laughs> Hey curl friends and welcome back to another video. You guys are seeing me bare faced, bare hair, just like as real as it could possibly get. Hopefully you guys can hear me really, really good. This is exactly why I do voiceovers, <laughs> which we will talk about as well. My neighbors are extremely loud, really, really annoying, but we should be moving soon. You guys won't be hearing it as much. But I wanna go ahead and say Happy New Year. It's 2019 and I haven't really been on here as much. I took a semi break, which we'll get into. Did I quit YouTube? Why am I so inconsistent? Do I even care about hair anymore? What is really going on with Ray? And I know this video is not gonna get as many views, but I feel like I owe it to y'all. Like y'all are my curl friends. We talk about everything. We used to talk about everything. And I thought that I would just go ahead and just be honest and you know tell you guys what you guys could expect from 2019 from the channel. So first things first, I miss you guys. I miss y'all so, 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 so much. <laughs> I was in like a weird, weird spot in 2018 with this channel. YouTube has made so many different changes to like the algorithms, what's okay and what's not okay, all of the rules and regulations and things. Like there's just so much going on with YouTube right now. Every single day, things are changing. The way in which an influencer can speak to the camera and what we can and cannot say, working with brands, to not work with brands, what's family friendly, defamation of character or defamation of a business <laughs> and what's like constructive criticism there's so many different things that go into making youtube videos now and it makes it so hard for a blogger to remain authentic 100 percent authentic and true to themselves i don't know i kind of lost like the drive and passion to do like beauty videos the community changed so much and i really wasn't feeling it my main thing for doing hair on youtube is i'm a really really creative person <laughs> one thing you guys may have already noticed i put a lot into my videos as far as like like editing and like setups and things and intro. I absolutely love editing. I love creativity. I love to express myself. So sometime last summer, I was in like a weird space with the channel. So I talked to mom and Joey about it and they both told me I just need to go ahead and take a break. I've been going ham <laughs> on this channel for a very, very long time. You guys know I went through cosmetology school. My mom got diagnosed with cancer. I quit my job. I did a lot of things in like a short span of time and I just kept like chugging and chugging and chugging along. So I kind of got worn out <laughs> as any other person would and I decided to go ahead and take a break. During my break is when I really realized how much I lost myself in my channel. I didn't realize that like I didn't know what to do. I'm the type of person that like is always like on a go 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 so I don't really know how to like relax. Relaxing to me is like taking a nap or going to sleep like what do you do for fun? <laughs> Doing hair for me was my hobby and it became my job so I didn't really know what I wanted to do for fun. I really really sat down like I, I was going crazy like I didn't know what to do. I was like harassing mom. <laughs> I didn't know what to do at all. I ended up thinking back to my childhood and I was like, what did I like to do when I was a kid? What did I do for fun? And I remember like I did a lot of painting. I used to love video games as a kid. I absolutely loved video games. We couldn't really afford it when I was a child. So it was just like board games and like I had like a Nintendo 64. <laughs> But I did love video games. I loved video games on babysitter's house and drawing. I love drawing and painting. So I was going to try and get into that. Lo and behold, during my break, literally, I want to say that Friday, I started looking into The Sims. Joey told me about The Sims. And I was kind of looking at it, looking at videos on it. And The Sims 4 looks so different from The Sims that I grew up on. I grew up on The Sims 1. And they actually had like black characters in The Sims like that look like real, like natural curly hair. They looked extremely like realistic and like true to our culture. And I was like, oh my God, I have to get The Sims. When I tell you I went to bed after watching those videos, Saturday morning I wake up and I go into Origin. I had to figure out how to download it again. I go into um, the website to download and buy the game and it was on sale literally like from $40 I think is the original price I got it for 15 bucks or $10 it was history from there so I started playing the sims I got back into the sims got just as addicted as I used to be as a kid and I spent like a whole month like just like relaxing playing the sims I decided to go ahead and start a channel for it because I just I really wanted to showcase what I could do I love editing y'all know that so I just went ahead and made a channel just for fun nothing serious and it I don't want to say it took off but it's doing very very well and I really really like the community over there so that's pretty much 
where I've been. Just like being super creative with like games and editing and being creative. <laughs> I was just so excited about that channel. But yeah, so now I'm back over here. I didn't want to leave you guys in the dust, but I really, really felt like stunted in my growth on this channel and like how creative I could be when I edit too much. I have a lot of people that kind of complain. They want to see like me get straight to the point. And that's just, it just wasn't me. Like I like putting all the extra stuff into my videos. I like being super creative. I like doing, I don't want to be that person that's doing like Bantu knots, braid outs, and like the basic stuff over and over and over again. They've already been done. I want to do like play with color and play with different hairstyles and do crazy like Vogue, like runway hairstyles. That's my thing. <laughs> I love that. It's exactly why I don't work in a salon because I don't like repetition. I'm not the type of person I get bored very, very easily. But now I kind of got to the point, now that I took my break, I got to the point where I kind of realized what I didn't like that I was doing with the channel, what I could change. And um, what I realized is that I did not like working with brands. I felt very, very stunted working with brands as well. On top of the comments was the brands. Brands have so many restrictions and things that you can and cannot say. I had the issues with like the overseas people like not paying for brand deals and like taking advantage of me. And I just felt so like belittled and like taking advantage of. So I realized just some some 411 just in case you guys were wondering a lot of people think that youtubers get paid strictly off of just like ads on your videos. The majority of youtubers if they're doing youtube correct or they're doing their business correct the majority of us ads on videos makes up between like 10 to 30 percent of someone's income usually no more than that. Most of the, the people that you see that are like super successful on youtube brand deals they're working with brands to make up that income. We don't make a lot of money on ads so that's definitely out of the question like you just can't can't just like totally get rid of brands but I realized that the brands that I had the most issues with were overseas brands so I decided to cut that out completely you guys know I did that and just stick to US brands it made it so much more simpler contracts are so much more simple the conversions as far as like them understanding the value per dollar is a lot more easier <laughs> and I'm able to just like negotiate much better I can legit say no whenever I want to and I've basically been saying no to a lot of new brands I don't think I've taken a brand deal from a brand I haven't worked with and maybe like five months or so five or six months I want to say I might be wrong but I want to say it's been a very very long time I'm still working with Diva Trust you guys know I'm, I'm still uploading for them right now I am very familiar with them I work with them all the time I've never had issues ever so um I continue to work with the brands that I've already been working with but it has put like a huge weight off of my shoulders like I feel so much more like in control of what I'm doing again my other thing as you guys can see I'm like bare face hair is not done I don't know like I feel like I got trapped into the whole thing of like having like a full on production having a backdrop always set up making sure your hair and your makeup and your nails are done all the time that's what people want but it's not me like I'm a girly girl but I'm not that girl that like puts on a beat face every single day I'm not that girl that cares about edges every single day my nails are not done half the time as you guys can see it's chipping right now I want to film a hair tutorial but that did run through my head today of like oh I can't film it because if I film it with my nails chipped like this people are going to have a whole bunch to say which I get it because I should be presenting myself a certain way it's my business but I feel like to be authentic and be my true self and just go back to my roots of what actually got me to 60,000 subscribers was me being myself me being your friend that's just like doing her hair in her room and y'all get to like kick it with me and talk to me in the comments and stuff you know all in all I basically want to say that break really really helped y'all <laughs> it really really helped I actually moved my whole room around I did a lot of stuff during my break I moved the whole room around so my office looks totally different I'm in a whole different room I switched rooms and um I downsized my products so I don't have that big old bookcase of products I was able because I was saying no to so many people I was able to get rid of half of those products it was like driving me insane when I had to get rid of them a lot of the products were expired a lot of these products like I didn't even really need and I didn't realize it because you get a lot of PR doing YouTube you get a lot of random deals and things you're always getting products and I never really felt like I, I haven't been to a hair store or like any kind of beauty supply store at all in a very very long time if I go in there it's for like small stuff like wig caps little small stuff like that or needles but I haven't bought a product like I haven't seen a product come out and me say like oh my gosh I want that or I want to go buy that because I know it'll be sent to me and that's, <laughs> I don't know it's kind of weird like to have opinions on products and things like your whole entire mind shifts when so many things are being given to you so now that I've been saying no I've been able to like starting to get my 
myself back into the consumer mindset and I'm trying to figure out what I want to buy. So I just bought like some Gorilla Snot Gel. I have never tried it before. I'm gonna give that a try. And I don't, I don't really know what is all, like what all is out that I'm interested in buying. I have to start doing some research and see what I wanna buy. That's pretty much it. <laughs> that, that's pretty much what's been going on. But other than that, like I said, I don't know the brand deals, me not really feeling creative, the comments. Like I really, really feel like I can't be myself as much. Like I get judged so, so much now. I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't really read the comments as much. I tried the live streaming thing. Um, I like live streaming, but it's a little harder for me to get like my hair done because I'm focused on the comments and like the, the camera dying and like all the technical stuff versus me just like kicking it by myself. Not having to worry about like copyright music and movies and stuff playing in the background. Yeah, it's just a lot to think about. I want to be able to go back honestly I want to be able to go back to how we used to make videos and I watch um shout out to Ambrosia Mar Marlborough I don't know how to say her name but I know her as ex Golden. she made a video I'm a lot of beauty gurus have been making videos about like not really feeling YouTube anymore and like trying to come back type thing and I feel the exact same way it, it makes me so sad to see the beauty community like start to dwindle off people aren't uploading as much they're very inconsistent but there's so much behind the scenes stuff going on Broja did say something that kind of caught my attention she was like I miss being able to upload videos like how you know how we used to do it and she was like she bought her house and she was looking for like a house with an extra room for her beauty room and I did the same thing like I had this whole entire room to film in. You would think that that would make you more motivated to make videos and things but it actually demotivated me like I feel so detached. I feel like I'm just like turn on the camera get the tutorial done and get it up versus back in the day I would literally be like in the middle of doing my hair and say oh crap let me go ahead and grab the camera real quick and record it and just kind of show them what I'm doing. That's a whole different experience versus here's how to do A, B, and C. You got the whole backdrop set up everything's like perfection making sure you're perfect and like getting straight to the point. Wanna, basically I want to put more of my personality back into the video so you guys can feel like you guys know me. Y'all seen almost everything. Y'all seen a good like 60% of my life <laughs> all the way down to like my mom's health and everything like that and I feel like I can't be as like transparent anymore because of the comments. Not that they get to me but I'm very very protective of my family. I don't got time for that. I have people call. I, I've told you guys before that my mom had cancer and I had a comment before that asked me am I sure that it's cancer and that she's not on crack or something like that. She a crackhead. Yeah. I've had people talk about my eyebrows not matching, my nails being, um, my nail polish being cracked, all kind of stuff. I don't know. At this point right now, now that I've taken my break, like I said, I feel like I just don't give a crap what nobody thinks anymore. I'm going back to how I used to make my videos. Don't get me wrong, I still like my high production. Y'all will be seeing high production videos, but if I feel like turning on the camera and like showing y'all a hairstyle, like I probably will do today, I'm gonna do my hair. <laughs> if I feel like doing that and my makeup is not done or my nails not done, I don't care. Like I really don't care. I'm just getting the video out. I'm just a normal, real deal blogger and not a hired talent to show you how to do something. You know what I mean? like following a script and everything that's not my judge but let me make sure I, I got all my points across I had to write this down because I got bad memory y'all but I think I covered every single thing I am so so happy to come back on this channel like I said it feels so good to be able to be like what do I want to film today and not more so like the brand wants me wants to send me hair which is cool and then they tell me what they want me to film tell me how to say it how to present it and then by then it's just like I don't even want to do it <laughs> now I can go out and buy my own things again and actually put out the content that I want to put out or do a hairstyle because I want to do the hairstyle on my head. So 2019 is going to be super super fun. I'm actually sitting at my vanity right now y'all. I'm going to give y'all some like panning shots of what all is going on. I might do another um office tour. Let me know what you guys think about an office tour but I set up a little vanity. Well we set up a, a little vanity. Mom actually put most of this together and I'm dibbling and dabbling into makeup now. So that's been my other thing. I've been playing around with a lot of like creative makeup. Y'all know creativity. <laughs> um I don't really know like the basics of makeup as far as like um a normal everyday look with contour and all that stuff that's not really my thing but I've been doing a lot of like super creative looks I've been playing around with colors and stuff so hopefully I can show you guys a little bit of that I don't know if I'm too comfortable showing that because I don't know much about makeup and I don't want anybody like checking me like girl it's not the right way <laughs> but maybe I'll show you guys a little bit I've been showing you guys a little bit in my behind the scenes like vlogs of the brand deals and stuff I've been doing I recently worked with MAC which was exciting as heck because I don't have a clue what I'm doing but it actually helped me to get products to be able to practice more and get more 
more confident in makeup but i'm gonna stop talking i think i got my point across <laughs> um i hope that you guys are excited to get the videos back again i'm excited i feel super creative again let me know in the comments below if you guys have any ideas for things that you guys want to see things that you guys miss seeing i'm i am bringing vlogs and stuff back it's just gonna be like what i want to put up now but i hope you guys are having a great start of 2019 i hope you wrote down your goals and you're trying to achieve them love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next upload